Diabetes is a major non-communicable disease, NCD, which has taken the form of a slow-growing pandemic. In the year 2019, approximately 463 million adults between the age of 20 and 79 years were living with diabetes. This number is expected to grow to a staggering 700 million by 2045. Around 90% of diabetes cases today are of type 2 diabetes. Once commonly diagnosed only in older adults, it is now increasingly seen in younger adults and even adolescents and children, owing to the lack of physical exercise, poor diet, and the resulting unhealthy body weight. While type 2 diabetes continues to be more prevalent, according to a meta-analysis conducted in 2020, the incidence and prevalence of type 1 diabetes is also increasing globally, with more than 1 million cases below age 20 in the year 2020. In short, diabetes is a leading cause of mortality, reduced life expectancy, and diminished quality of life. In addition to backbreaking clinical burden, diabetes poses a significant financial burden too. In 2019, health expenditure on diabetes was 760 billion US dollars approximately. The diabetes burden is all the more worrisome for low and middle income countries, which were home to a whopping 79% of the total adult population living with diabetes in 2019. The COVID-19 pandemic has only escalated the urgency to rein in diabetes. Given the disproportionate rate of diabetes among COVID-19 patients, who experienced acute illness after infection. With a burgeoning diabetes population and shortage of endocrinologists, the need of the hour is that primary care becomes the focal point for diabetes management. Successful diabetes management requires well-coordinated teamwork by general practitioners, diabetes educators, nurses, dietitians, social workers, pharmacists, and other frontline health workers who are trained and empowered to provide services outside the historical scope of their roles. Professional development must cultivate a deeper understanding of how the broad classes of glucose-lowering medications work alone and in combination with others, along with their benefits for and beyond lowering glucose. Primary care systems must also be equipped to mitigate the crippling side effects that can result from diabetes. Adaptation of continuous monitoring technologies will be essential to better management of the disease itself and the complications it can cause. This program intends to address these issues by equipping PCPs with actionable guidance presented through practical, real-world scenarios. The four lessons in the program focus on these distinct and critically important aspects of diabetes management.